working with these sweet little boxes tonight. And these sweet little boxes are great. Comes in a package of, uh, I think, 10, $10, so it's a dollar box. And what's great is it has the adhesive already on it. So I'm gonna, um, we're gonna, uh, look at my cat. My cat jumped up. Honestly, wherever my stamp room is, that's where he is also. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper here. And now these boxes have a little bit of a coating on them. So that's just something you'll have to pay attention to. I'm gonna get my real red pad out. Let's see if I can work up a little bit higher. I wanna make sure everything's in the camera view. And again, I know that there's some shadow, but I can't help it. I can't help it. All right, so actually we're gonna stamp on the side that's got the 3M tape. Now this is going to end, this side is going to end up being the back. So I will actually put it up like this. I have gone ahead and used my Sweet, Conversa Sweet Conversation stamp set. I've pre-mounted the X and the O. Sarah Douglas, the CEO of Stampin' Up! made one of these recently and I thought it was darling. She did hers in black. And I really want to do mine in red and white and, and black too. So I'm just stamping on the diagonal here. And if you notice, I'm offsetting them a little bit. Crash, get lost. He's such a nice cat, but man, doesn't know his place sometimes. And the dog's right around here, too. Usually I have everybody shut out, but I can't shut anybody out. Hopefully, my youngest son, Matthew, doesn't decide to come down. Sometimes, mm, he's got some interesting vocabulary that comes out of his mouth. He has autism, and he has some very strong opinions about things. So you never know what you're going to get with that boy. Now, that's going to be on the side, so I don't really need to stamp another one there. Now, because this has a little bit of a coating on here, that means it's gonna take a little bit to dry. So you can set it, do it one time and set it aside to dry, or you can speed it up with a heat tool. Now, because I'm not actually um, in a spot where I can easily get electricity, I don't, my cord isn't long enough for my heat tool here, I've gone ahead and I have I did one earlier, and I actually heat set it with my heat tool. Worked great. So let me go ahead, um, and you'll just fold on all these lines. The score lines are already there. It makes this really easy to put together, and it's very sturdy. It really is a very sturdy box. All right. Now to form it, you'll just take off the adhesive backing. I'm gonna tuck these little guys in at the bottom here. And try not to have it stick to my fingers. That looks pretty good. Oh, I had ink on my fingers. Oh. I can probably clean it off pretty well. But. So, here we go. Now you can see, you can tell which is the front and which is the back. Maybe you can, let me see. There's the adhesive folded over this way, and so there's this edge right here. And so that's why you wanna make the other side the front, because then you don't see the seams. I'm gonna show you one I did before that when I guessed which way was the wrong way. And so you can see this seam actually needs a little bit more adhesive. There's a little bit of a gap there. So it's just not as nice a finished product. But you can see one of the things that I did was I actually die cut a heart out of the front here and put a window sheet behind it so it's a, like a little peekaboo box 
So you can have something that looks like that. You can put the bow down here. Or if you didn't have that, like I just covered it with some designer series paper. That's the Sweet Treats paper. And that's cute as well, right? But let's finish this one right here. So what I want to do is I want to take a piece of basic black cardstock and I'm going to get out my dies that go along with this set. And these are the Sweet Treats dies. I'm going to get this tag die out. And these are fairly small. I'm going to, I'm going to cut a few things out at once. I'm going to take that heart. I'm going to cut that out of red. And I'm going to punch this one out. Let's see. Now, I mentioned I went to Ikea today. So I went to Ikea, we left in the morning. I, there's not an Ikea that's real close. It's almost two hours away. So we went to Ikea, first time there. Oh my goodness, good thing it's not really close to me because I could, I could spend a lot of time and money there probably. Um, let me stop talking for a second and figure out what I'm doing here. So I need to get a piece of basic white cardstock as well. And I'm gonna do some stamping. So I've mounted one of the hearts and it says love you on it. I'm gonna take my memento black and stamp that right on there. I'm gonna come back in with my real red and I need to clean this stamp or this uh, stamp so that I can put it away. And we'll get out the heart that goes with this. So this is the one that goes with it. You know, my son, he's making some weird sounds. All right, and again, I'm, my camera's in the way. I hope to get this somewhat close. Yeah, pretty close, close enough. All good. So I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut a big heart here. Um, I could cut some smaller hearts. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. Let's see. I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. So a one, a two, and a three. It's like Lawrence Welk. Some of you know who that is. A one and a two and a three. I used to watch that. I used to have to watch it with my parents every Sunday night. Not the highlight of my Sundays, I can assure you. Probably was at one point, you know, when I had to dance with my dad or asked him to dance anyways to the music. But, you know, there comes a time when you grow up and you're like, eh, parents aren't cool. All right, I'm trying to line this up. The lighting is terrible. There's, oh, sorry, you're, I'm even working off. Sorry, the lighting's terrible, so I'm trying to line it up as best I can. And run this through. Oh, Diane used to watch it too, huh? With your grandfather? Oh, nice. All right. All right, let's see what we've got here. Let's see if we can put something together. So I've just got this little, little tag. I'm gonna get out some of the new Real Red what's it called? Faux linen ribbon. It's a nice thickness. It's very soft though. We're going to wrap that around the box. I need enough to tie a bow and I'm not exactly sure how much that is, but we'll call it that much. So if I wrap a bow around it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be tying a knot, but before I do that, I do want to thread my 
ribbon through here. I, I really did think about tonight doing a, a video and not doing it live, just kind of posting it, but I couldn't do it. I'm like, I'm going to be back in time. Let's just wing something. It's going to be bad. You know, it's going to be hard with my stuff all kind of packed up anyways. Might as well make it hard live and y'all can laugh at me. That's fine. I'd laugh at me. That's okay. So we play with a bow, however we like it, something like that. And then let's go bring our heart back in here. You know what? I think I, I'm going to cut this little piece of, I, I pre-cut this little piece of white that goes across the bat, black. Probably would have been smartest to do all this bef before I actually it on. Oh well. Let's see. I brought my scissors out here. Oh, they're right here. I'm just gonna cut this off at the back. I really, literally, basically come up, came up with this plan just before we came on. And so we can go ahead and put that right here. I think we need a dimensional for that to make it stand out. I want the regular size dimensionals. I'll use the edge of this. And I apologize if I go in and out of the view of the camera. This is not my normal setup. But there we have a cute little box. Now, what can go in the box? Lots of things. So I have a son that right now is sick. He does not have COVID. He's been tested. He's been sick for, I don't know, four or five days. It's a cold. It's a, it's a pretty good cold. He's got some cough drops. Like I could, I would, I would not get lemon ones. I would have gotten cherry ones to go with a box, but it doesn't really matter because the box doesn't have a hole in it. But especially if I did one of those windows, I would do that. So you can put a bunch of cough drops in there or Valentine's Day is coming up. You could make a little card to go in there. Let me show you. Let's do that real quickly before my camera, um, my phone runs out of battery. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I did on the front of the box. Just gonna put these on the diagonal. And this is regular paper, so this will dry pretty quickly. And I've just made this little card, and I think this measures seven inches long. It's scored at three and a half, and it is two and three eighths inch wide. This is a quarter less, so it is two and one eighths inch wide by three and a quarter. gonna mount that on here. Oh, the lighting in this room is so terrible. That's one of the things I still have to buy for my stamp room. Good lighting. And so I can I can put on this heart. I can write on this heart actually if I wanted to. I can write his name if I'm giving it to that son I was just talking about. Let's uh, let's get some of these glue dots out here. Uh, let's see if I can find the first one. Oh, they're on the other side, aren't they? Okay, I see them now. I see them. So one of the things, one of these little, um, one of the dies in here cuts out four or five hearts at a time. One does six hearts. I'm just gonna put some hearts on these glue dots right here. Because the glue dots are way easier to use than say, most anything else. 
they're way easier than the adhesive on here. I'm going to put this one right inside the little heart. There we go. I mean, inside the little zero. So I'd probably write love you on there or something, or maybe I'd write his name on there so that he knows it's for him and not for his brother. And here's a, a little Smitty's gift card, Smitty's um, Cinnamon Game Lab. So we that's just a local place near us. And so if they wanted to go... Um, watch a movie or play a game you can just put this gift card and by the way you know this is a standard size gift card so you could put you know coffee card in here you could you could do lots of things all right so I've got a couple of glue dots on there and just put that in there I could write a cut another piece of cardstock here and write a nice little note. But then it goes right in here in the box. And we put the ribbon back on. Obviously, I would have not put the ribbon on first if I thought about that earlier. And I just need to tie up. I need to tighten the ribbon a little bit so it stays nice and tight on there. But there we have a cute little box.